Hello everyone, this is Remy from At The Movies with a few of my favorite things from 2021. So when it comes to music, one of the albums I listened to the most this year was Bo Burnham's Inside, which it's not just a great movie slash special, whatever you want to call it. It's such a great album, and I feel that this is his prime where he's at his most creative, both uh, through the music and as well to the artistry of the comedy. Uh, as for music, one of my favorite albums of the year has to be Olivia Rodrigo's Sour, which was her debut. So Olivia Rodrigo was one of the Disney stars. And this is a power punk pop anthem album, which is really well done. I was really surprised that this one would be like one of my favorite albums of the year, but it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. Uh, when it comes to scores and soundtracks, besides Bo Burnham's Inside here, let's take a moment to recognize uh, the bombastic score of Hans Zimmer's uh, Dune, really one of his best scores. Zimmer also scored the No Time to Die, the last James Bond film, but I, I gotta give it up for Dune. Dune is a great film, and if you haven't seen it, get the opportunity to see it onto the big screen. It is a great uh, film, and you have to hear it through the theater speakers with the bombastic score from Hans Zimmer once again. When it comes to other scores, I really enjoy Johnny Greenwood's score for Spencer. It is something different. I wasn't expecting a eerie jazz more influence score for Spencer, but it works well. And Kristen Stewart is great as Diana. Uh, one film that I feel that everybody should watch this year, I feel that it has to be the Cannes Store Palm winner, Titan. Comes heavily recommended with me, comes also heavily recommended with discretion, is advised upon before going into the theater and seeing it. It is not for everybody. So read a little bit about the film before going in, but not too much, because that's what makes Titan so special. But if you think that you can handle it, I definitely recommend Titan. And then we come to the end of 2021. What I'm hoping to see, Licorice Pizza from Paul Thomas Anderson's the last movie that I have onto my list I really want to see. I've been watching the trailer nonstop on repeat. It seems like it's going to be an amazing movie and probably my favorite film of the year. So far though, favorite film of the year, got to give it up to In the Heights. It is a two hour plus musical movie that kept me entertained throughout the whole entire experience and for a movie to have that type of energy, it is my number one film of the year. As always, bon cinema and uh, happy holidays everybody.